Well, we've been joined on stream by Gifty and Wapia, who had uh, less slippers as always. Oh, wow. Uh, so, and then Joseph Akable. And a good morning to you guys out there. But uh, look, Mama V is back. Was a bit uh, stressed out and under the weather, but she's back. Well recovered. Well, I hope so. She, she looks good behind the marks there. Mama V, how are you? Welcome back. I, I well, love I'm your dress. Good, very, thank you. Very colorful. How are you? Yep. Chalade. I think it's been it's been We've very all been stressful. Like yeah, a, so. yes, a bit overwhelming, a bit stressful, yeah. and you need to take a breather once in a while. Charlie, it, it, it calls for it. That is your dress. Is it a dry wear? No. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you want to pay for it? Uh, do, do, oh no, since it's not a dry wear, it was. <laughs> Let's say good morning to Gifty and Joseph. What's up to you guys? Hello, Mavi. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Good to see both of you. Gifty, anything you want to say? Like, you're still smiling. Yeah. Gifty is Hi, Mama V. <laughs> good morning. Good to see you. Yeah, good morning. It looks like... Oh, we... I mean, it's, uh, it's a normal smile. <laughs> I, I just feel a little bit overwhelmed. Mm. Yeah, we all are. We? The death of uh, Sir John and other things, you know. That's true. We just have to smile through it. Yeah. I know what you mean. I I can relate. I mean, but how are you guys holding up? I mean, like, let's 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 talk about how life I hope and my internet is better today, though. Well, I think it's a bit stable. Mm. Like right now, it got really stable. So. I was just saying, you know, working through this period, like, really, how is it like? How, how, because I, I, I don't know if psychologically or if it's, I'm not sure. Like, can, can you help thinking about all the other things happening around? Because I can't help it. Yeah. You know? Um, the currency has not been I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, talking about money. I'm talking about coronavirus. Oh, okay. It's been quite tough, Mamavi. I mean... <laughs> I mean, the fact is that there's a lot happening around us, and so the stress of the work, and there's what uh, I call the psychological symptoms that every two or three days you hear or know someone who is tested positive, and it's, I mean, more or less comes as a rude awakening, and you feel a bit uncomfortable that you are showing those same symptoms. And so, but after a few days, you're okay again. So that kind of mental stress and its effects, maybe it's something that we should look at a conversation around the psychological symptoms that we tend to experience around this period. It's a really a tough time to be alive at this point, and we can only uh, stick to the protocols and ensure that we keep ourselves safe. Absolutely. All right, let's stick to the newspapers then. Let's do the review. Uh, I see, Gifty, you've got the Daily Guide and the Daily uh, Dispatch. You could start, Gifty. Yeah. Okay. I have the daily guide, the daily guide uh, banner front line, um, banner headline, oh dear Lord. <laughs> banner headline says, NDC gurus turn EC lovers as 19,000 register alone. And then I have another story on that night in Asante the Achim Nots NPP. And then there is also a picture of the health minister and the story is the for health workers special allowance. And that, and then uh, beneath that story is Robert Storm's story we did earlier uh, on, 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 the, on the AM show. Um, I also have the Daily Dispatch. The Daily Dispatch front Page. I don't know why I keep saying front last. There's 79 <laughs> MPs missed 2017 Parliament because of internal party primaries. And then we are pleading crowding at registration centers EC and Kofi Aban appointed member of Kotoko board. Nasto is on page two of the dispatch uh, newspaper. I I think well, maybe those are the papers that I have um, at the moment. Yeah. All right, let me continue with the Daily Graphic newspaper. Front page of the graphic. 
Third presidential pitch entrepreneur, 26 wins, 100,000 Ghana cities prize. Fidelity Bank posts 322 million Ghana cities profit in 2019. The Electoral Commission's measures to curb and prevent spread of COVID-19 also contained in the paper today. As of July 1, uh, case counts COVID-19 stands at 17,741, recovered, discharged, 13. 1,268 and the debts 112. Uh, but this one is a bit disappointing for me. Review punishment for not wearing nose mask. That's uh, the Ghana Bar Association calling uh, at this time, really, really, like where have they been? I think they, they are losing the kind of force that they are noted for. They used to be noted for the Ghana Bar Association, I'm afraid. Uh, but this is a call that has come way too late. Like, it's almost like, where have they been? In the center spread, MPs completes first phase of Temaport's expansion. Uh, $200 million uh, boost for pharma industry, or, yeah. And then a uh, framework to improve police media relations launched. On the back page, reclaim lands using proven methodologies, uh, mining company told. And the Cosmos Energy presents COVID-19 test machine to the Ghana Health Service. Uh, let's do the Ghanaian Times before, Joseph, you come through with the Statesman and the Business and Financial Times. The Ghanaian Times front page, well, the same uh, headline in the graphic, the banner headline also here, the presidential pitch program, three winners back, 210,000 Ghana cities. Day two of voters registration exercise, social distance defiance persists as Garanta system slows down process. Finance Ministry earmarks 80 million Ghana cities, special allowance for frontline health workers, will prosecute anyone who guarantees for more than 10 applicants. That's according to the Electoral Commission on the back page. Ensure strict compliance on health protocols at registration centers. A call by the Northern Regional Minister. Ghana Wildlife Society calls for appropriate disposal of PPE to curb pollution. So by way of headlines, that's it on the back page of the Daily Graphic. Joseph Akable. We can do the front page of the BNFT first before we go into that of the statesman. Uh, the BNFT has the presidential pitch story. It says Douglas Akoglu wins presidential pitch, walks away with 100,000 cities. That's some good money. So on the front page, crude revenue drops 5% despite a 15% increase in production for 2019 also on the front page of the BNFT, and 80 million cities set aside to pay 50% allowance for health workers. Uh, we can do the back page now. It says, Prudential Bank donates 100,000 to Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research, and Olam partners with Mitsubishi Corporation to deliver COVID-19 relief efforts, also on the back page of the BNFT. We can move on to the Daily Statesman now. A number of stories on the front page. The first one here says, EC satisfied with registration exercise. 154,000 central region residents get potable water as President Akufuado fulfills another campaign promise. And 1 million city for 20 young entrepreneurs on the front page as well. The back page has a story from the best club on earth, Kumasi Santi Kotoko. We've appointed Kofi Amwa Aban as a member of the Kotoko board. Mama, did, did, they, did they add the best club to the story? Or you just... See, we when you're not the best... The and... I have it. That's why I'm seeing <laughs> the paper. <laughs> they asked this story also about <laughs> Jürgen Klopp saying we will attack. Uh, title, not defend it. Also. Em embellishing, embellishing. Sensational <laughs> journalism, <laughs> that's journalism, it. Journalism, embellishing. <laughs> 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 I'm the only one who has the newspaper, so I know what I'm reading. <laughs> You're the only one. That is it for the Daily Statesman and the BNFT Roland. Okay, so let me do the finder. The finder has on the front page, entrepreneurship innovation are key to economic revival of, after COVID-19. We're still battling it, so after. I'm just wondering when the after will be. Uh, president challenges presidential pitch season three winners. I see you rallies more support for hospitality. Sent, uh, sector and Echo Bank robust and profitable, we're told, according to the 
Business Finder. Let me do the Daily Heritage has on the front page, payment to determine our vote, locked up monies. That is uh, coming from customers of defined banks, micro uh, financial institutions, etc. We also have decongestion of prisons, review amnesty criteria, according to uh, POS Foundation, and 400,000 private school teachers to lose jobs. Uh, should be reading to lose jobs, not to lose jobs. Uh, uh, if Ministry of Education insists on teacher licensing. Mm. And on the back page of the Daily Heritage is about the African Cup of Nations postponed until 2022. And Messi is said to have scored his 700 career goal. I know that uh, a Barcelona supporter like Joseph Akable will have a lot to say about Lionel Messi. Very good player of our time. Ultimately, I know we'll take over um, Cristiano Ronaldo in the standings of some of uh, the best scorers of the game, best players, ultimately. He's still a bit younger than Cristiano Ronaldo. I think that'll be it for me. All right. Um, Joseph, you have any pick for today, this morning? Uh, perhaps we can start to run in with yours in the first place. There, there are a number of stories in the news. Uh, we, we, we are not seeing a lot on the uh, COVID stories coming yeah. up in the news, but it's it's of major concern. The EC is reported to have said it is satisfied with uh, the registration exercise. I mean, I think our, our colleague Maxwell and our other correspondents across the country monitored the two yesterday. And the report that came in is that, I mean, there was a slight improvement by way of people wearing masks and uh, having Veronica buckets and what's available. However, the concern still remains about the distancing in the queues, and that's when the real problem is. And we heard from a public health analyst yesterday, uh, Dr. Moisey of the KCCR, who is making the point that, I mean, that is a major concern, aside from the fact that people tend to spend more time. And so his argument was that if you spend more time at those locations where you have a lot of people, you think we see the probability of contracting the virus. And so he says it's something that the EC should be quality pay attention to. And so it's quite interesting that the EC will describe the process generally as, satis as, as satisfactory, even though its officers have admitted the distancing issues. I think there will come a point where we need to do some careful analysis and decide whether or not the current system we have in place is fine or we should go back to the restrictions. We've seen other countries who have done that. They've lifted the restrictions and eventually have gone back to it because of the, the surge in cases that doesn't go down at all. And so I think that is the point I will get to at some stage. And I mean, it's important that uh, our handlers and those who are managing this particular issue will come to the table relying on the data and the science not the, the one that was used some time back. <laughs> but, we, but we do know that uh, following the WHO revised protocols, even though some few days later, they also, uh, in sections of the British media and the world media, actually had to backtrack on the asymptomatic cases and their infection rate. Uh, I know that we also did follow the same. Uh, currently in America, for example, uh, California or Los Angeles used to record some nice um, um, he headway as far as their management of the disease. But today in America, Fauci is saying the code reached to between 50,000 and 100,000 cases daily. That's scary, you see. And I think what we're seeing the last couple of days is not good. Uh, while we don't want to be doom mongers or scaremongers, so to, or doomsayers or scaremongers, so to speak, I also do know that the reality is hitting us hard on the face. Socioculturally, we find it difficult to adhere to anything that our convictions just don't tell us is the right thing to do. And that is why we're having our reporters go on the ground in the communities. And the community people who are queuing to go and register are just not adhering to the protocols. I don't know what the health authorities think. I don't know what the Ghana Medical Association thinks. Uh, we have College of Surgeons and Physicians, all of them based in Ghana here. Everybody is mute. But for those of us who are around people, it is scary. Yesterday, I spoke to a, uh, a friend of mine who works with one of the biggest centers we have testing cases in Ghana. And he told me uh, that, oh, if I have friends who are reporting cases at a workplace or any other workplace, oh, it is normal now. <laughs> If he's saying it is normal now, 
it means that it's as serious <clears throat> as it can get. Mm. How do I interpret what he's telling me? It's, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know whether to be yeah. frustrated or to think that nobody is doing anything about it. I, I think we don't, you know, we are seeing... I agree with this point about the, the, the results not coming early. I mean, I have heard from people, it's, it's now taking close to 11, 10, 11 days for people to get their results. These Even 12. These are positive results, unlike mm -hmm. in the past when we were told that there were negative results. Or yeah, exactly. Uh, and listen, uh, I think we just have to... We're not seeing the corresponding action. We know that we're recording a lot of cases. We're hearing that some, the, the centers are full. We're, we're seeing a lot of cases in the ICU. But we're not feeling the corresponding action to it. So it's almost like business as usual. I don't know where you get that confidence from, uh, Joseph, when you say a time will come when we go back to the restrictions. I don't see it. I mean, the political activities are here. Look at us. We're doing registration. We're, we're doing two different registrations. We're doing for the election itself, as in the voter registration. And we're also doing uh, the national card as well. I mean, people are simply not following the protocol. But we knew this was going to happen. And that's why there was a call for, for there to be some kind of guidance, uh, somebody making sure, people making sure that people stick to the rules. We knew this was going to happen. I mean, leave it to us alone. People are not even wearing the mask. That's why we have a law, for instance. So we knew this was going to happen. I don't see us seriously coming up with actions that says that we are in a critical situation. We hear the big names. I mean, yesterday, unfortunately, we had the passing of Sir John, for instance. We've had some big names uh, who tested for, uh, for COVID-19. But they're just the big names. We have plenty more people that Nobody's telling their stories. I mean, ordinary Ghanaians, citizens. And I don't see us doing anything as a nation to, you know, like, it's not, we're not shaking. You get what I mean? We're not. Gifty, I don't know what you think. Yeah, I, you, you see that I think I'm uncursed characteristically um, quiet this morning and um, you know I am a big picture or something and keep you running but I it just it, it's just you know this is just heavy bedding and it, I, I get the feeling that this is the real typical Ghana that I have grown to come uh, to know uh, we do things because we want to do it, irrespective of the evidence that stares at us. But I think this is just exposing that part of us that look, and we always say this, in especially in parliament, that the majority will have their way. It looks like this is what is happening. So a lot of people spoke against the registration pro process. A lot of people said this is not good civil society, but we know that body, they finally got, and, and there were so many things that just didn't make any sense, you know, like a whole, a full blown re-registration of over 17 million people like the CSOs, the, the civil society organization said that we could have done and the same. Now that there is technology, why don't we explore the angle of getting people to register remotely? But of course, we know that internet access is poor. Not that everybody has internet. I'm living in Spintex and what um, feedback you're getting. I'm seeing on my computer right now that internet connection is unstable. So <laughs> could we have done this another time? That's what what everybody hmm. said we saw it coming and here it is with us people are not going to obey the restrictions mm -hmm. they are not going to do them because we don't have a police force that can do that we don't have the space to keep people when we arrest them it's just simple common sense and it overwhelms me and it, it just saddens me today about sir john's death we've heard that there are other high profile people in in in, in icu etc do we have this, this sorry, uh, forgive my language, stupid? I'm sorry. I'm just really all like jumping out the window right now. And we can't allow this to happen. I am some I am here feeling like this. What about other people 
the mental fortitude. People, there are people who don't even see anything wrong with this. This is mm. what tells us that this shouldn't have been done now. But look, we are here. Do you work the problem that we have created and we are creating for ourselves? I really hope we get to work it out somehow. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, look at the, the, the newspapers, Mama V. Um, yeah. I'm looking at how, I, I'm sorry, but I don't want to hear about the presidential pitch at this time. <laughs> I don't want to hear about who has won thousand cities. I'm sorry. I don't want to, this is not the story I want to see. I want to see what we are doing to make sure that people are the people who are going to register are doing to see something that assures me that my grandmother who is over 80 years in Tepma will, 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 will not be a vision and that she will die at some point. You know, I, I see that the newspapers didn't really, most of the newspapers are not even reporting, you know, and, and, and you know, the registration problems that we're having, you know, I mean, the, the problem switching centers. I'm not seeing any of that. I'm seeing the Ghanaian Times that has a little bit of that, you know, is reporting on social distance, defiance versus as Garanta system slows down. It's in a corner beneath the presidential pitch that we need to push more on education because if that's what we need for people to sit up let's do it um i don't but yeah i mean we we have to keep hope alive and speak up and hope that the right things will be done mm. yeah yeah well that's that's all we've got i mean it's unfortunate that that's all we've got with all the things that we've instituted with all the talks, with all the noise that we've made, uh, uh, you know, thinking we were serious about this, uh, here we are. This is what we have. Hope, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can do myjournline.com with the rest of the hope that we have. <laughs> uh, before we run up, we, 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 Roland, mm. is there any other story? Uh, it's just the, I uh, know time is up, the Krapimpolo video, um, no picture, that dominated social media about two days ago with uh, the, the reactionary uh, actions uh, taken by the Ministry of Gender. And then also the argument it has generated that I thought that maybe if we had time we can look at. Um, I know Gifty is very passionate. Yesterday, she was very animated in the newsroom. Really? So I'm thinking, On yeah. This issue? Yeah, you were annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But I think all mm -hmm. of us uh, have, have grown through families mm -hmm. very close to our mothers. Think, so mm. so it, it's something that I thought maybe we could have t uh, talked about. I'll disappoint you, my personal opinion. I will spend my strength and my time uh, not following trends, but doing uh, the COVID story and, and talking about centers being full yeah i'm not yeah. interested in somebody who wants to trend right a naked body I, i'm not sure it's about the trends it's just uh, about what, what her son what well, what, well, what is appropriate well, I, what is appropriate I, to go public and yeah. what is not yes do yeah. they know what yeah. is appropriate to go public yeah. i mean i think the whole thoughts makes me angry that's why i don't even want to talk about they will do anything to trend i with Bullen. yeah i know i no, I know. I can imagine how Mama B feels, but I know, and I, I, I'll go with Roland on this one. Child doesn't know anything. This child is just, you know, I mean, you, they just follow. You do things, and they just follow. And that made, uh, my my my. I did dissertations that may help me to look at children development, child communication related and i do psychoanalysis of children and i, I, I children are so they're following us so much that everything we do for them. um unfortunately i think we're not getting a great connection from gifty yeah. uh to us uh well it started got better let's do my uh just before we go though Oh, there we have it. Uh, this story, unbelievable. The newspapers missed it, obviously, because of the time that it came. Forestry Commission boss St. John is dead. Uh, and if you click on the story, it will tell you how uh, he died at the Kolibutichan Hospital. He had been there, I think, about a week now. Uh, and then he got a bit unstable with breathing difficulties. Uh, but he had tested positive for COVID-19. And sadly, yesterday, he passed. Uh, we also talked... Uh, told about some 
MPP big shots, the MPP's campaign manager, for instance, Mark Menu, uh, the deputy trades minister, Carlos Ahenkara, all in the Kolibu ICU after testing positive for COVID-19. That reminds me, there was the education minister uh, and the... Uh, uh, Dan, Butri, Dan Butri as well. For the, we were told that they had tested, but they had not received their results. Uh, yeah, they, they said they, they, said they were at the red zone. Mm. Mm. You know the red I, zone. <coughs> I have, well, uh, sights and sounds of Sir John in Ghanaian politics. Uh, so a lot of people remembering Sir John. We've had the vice president uh, also saying, rest in peace, my good friend. Um, here are some... Other stories, well, social media reacts to passing of Sir John. 393 new cases uh, of the coronavirus being recorded. More on Sir John. Uh, I am shocked. I can't believe it. Freddie Blay saddened by Sir John's demise. We've had even people in the NDC yesterday, they would not react because they said they, ha they had not gotten over the shock. Uh, police initiate probe into murder of man who tried to stop rapists. Uh, and then police pick key leads in robbery and killing of caretaker of Bantama SDA Church. All right, so there are plenty of stories on my jawline.com. Uh, unfortunately, not very pleasant, some of the news, you know, that we are, we're sharing with you this morning. But that's our world. That's what we have to face today in terms of uh, everything else that we're dealing with. We'll take a breather. We'll bring you sports. Uh, Benedict will join us with details in sports.